Hi everybody, back to Databricks Free Edition. I want to show you something really cool with the AI gateway when it comes to serving endpoints. One of my favorite little features actually is when I create a serving endpoint using clicking up here, I'll just go to the one that I've already have. You notice that actually I can edit the AI gateway to block PII or ensure safety of the data. So in other words, when there's data like um, uh, credit card numbers, email addresses, uh, UK NI numbers. Um, I can actually block that stuff. So right here, I actually have the safety there, right, get go. So let me show you just this in action, okay? Let me go to the, uh, click on the playground. I'm gonna run this, but I'm actually gonna run also uh, GPT-5. This is with my own key to um, open AI, uh, to use GPT-5 mini, and try out some really quick queries. Now, Let's start off with zip code, all right? I'm gonna type that here. Now, this isn't PI code or anything like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sucker run and basically it'll generate some responses, okay? So it'll kick in and perfect. It actually responds appropriately. Now, in this case, they're actually both wrong. Uh, this one says Renton, this one says Federal Way, but it's actually for Kirkland, but that actually has to do with OpenAI, nothing to do with our keys itself. But how about if I go ahead and ask the question that actually has personally identifiable information like the UK and I number, okay? I chuck in something like this. You notice the one with guardrails right away, it actually prevents you from actually sending that particular question. So error code, bad request. Um, in this case, you can look through the JSON and it tells you right away um, that basically no worries, there's no hate, self-harm, or any other content, but they did notice the potentially PI information, okay? And that's what's listed here. Meanwhile, on my mini, it'll actually go ahead and send the query to GPT-5 mini and OpenAI, and it'll actually go ahead and give me this error, which is not bad, So, but it actually is sending the information to GPT-5. Now, if you're wondering which one actually, or how this works, just refer to the instructions. Now, notice this, the AI guardrails is in private preview, but then it'll note right here, uh, personally identifiable information detection is actually using, uh, the AI guard is using Presidio, okay? And so if you click on this link and it'll show up here, it'll give you all this cool information about which ones are available, which one's accessible, like I'm from the USA, bank number, driver's license, UK, includes the national insurance number, which we just sent, and all these other pieces of information like credit card, which is actually what we're gonna go do next, all right? So let me go ahead and, this is obviously a fake credit card number, but let me go ahead and try to write that uh, and send that now. And then in this case, again, the guardrails kicks in and says, nope, I'm not allowed sending this information in, okay? And right there, as you'll notice, it says, uh, what type of credit do I know to have, credit card, finish reason, input guardrail triggered, okay? And this one, sending to GPT-5 mini without the guardrails, um, GPT-5 actually does go ahead and try to make sense of this. It'll figure out that it's most likely a Visa card, but it actually can't look up additional information. Now, what's really cool is that with AI guardrails, it's actually trying to protect sending the information directly to your, um, uh, your model so that way the PI information doesn't actually ever leave your Databricks environment. So to prove my point, remember how I showed you back in uh, initially when I showed the, the endpoints? Here, let me open this up just for a second. All right. I have this. I can edit it. And I can actually have, for example, the plain text key. This is the setting. Okay, I'm going to cancel that for now. So this is enabled. To prove my point, I'm going to go ahead and actually delete the key that's using. Okay, so I'm going to revoke that key right now. Boom, now it's gone. I'm going to go back to the playground. I'm going to send this information in, okay? Same one. All right, so let's see what happens. Sorry. All right, boom. Now, notice that the error messages are different. For the one with guardrails, again, the bad request is saying the input guardrail has been triggered, okay? But in the case of GP5 my, Mini, my key, it actually is an invalid request because I just deleted the key. So that's my, almost my point. In the case of using guardrails, we actually prevent the information for ever even going to uh, open AI in the first place. So that's really cool. The guardrails actually really do protect and keep that information inside your Databricks environment. All right. Thanks very much. And see you at the next Agent Bricks uh, demo.